And I'm joined in studio now by Tom Djokovic. He's the CEO of XNX Incorporated, XSNX, their stocks. And we're good to see you again, Tom. It's great to be back, Don. Now, you've got something with you you've been promising us for a little while. Uh, you know, you're pretty proud of that, too. Why don't you tell us what we have? Well, this is uh, what we're doing, Don, specifically, is we're coming up with a way to make solar cells out of thin film uh, uh, solar material called CIGS. And we're making this specifically uh, at targeting the silicon solar cell market as a replacement for silicon. And this is one of our sample silicon solar, uh, I mean, CIGS-based solar cells. Uh, this is made on stainless steel material. Mm -hmm. And uh, the CIGS material is put on here using the system we've developed. And uh, essentially, it looks just like a silicon solar cell. Our finished product actually have square corners where okay. we're developing the capacity to do that. But essentially, this is a, 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 we're targeting it as a drop-in replacement for the silicon market, which I've brought some slides uh, okay. for that. Uh, okay. There's slide one. Uh, I'm showing exactly what is the value of the market. Uh, a lot of people don't really understand, but, but as you can see in these slides, just the value of the silicon solar cell market alone here in, in 2010 is $18 billion. Wow. And over the next several years through 2013, that's going to grow by 52%. And it's just for the silicon solar cells. So hmm. it's an enormous market. It's an enormous market opportunity that we're targeting with this particular uh, product. Now, that looks to me like that versus other solar products I've seen incredibly thin. Incredibly thin. Well, silicon solar cells, are, you're right. Uh, silicon solar cells are very thin, too, but they're very brittle. You can't do this with a silicon okay. solar cell. Uh, I have a, a, a second slide I brought with me, okay. which basically shows what the value chain is associated with the silicon solar cell market. Mm -hmm. Basically, they first have to refine the silicon, make it pure. That's 40 plus cents a watt to mm -hmm. do that. Then they turn it into ingots, which they're spending about another 30 plus cents a watt to turn wow. it into, into ingots. Then they slice it into, a, and wafers, rather. Mm -hmm. Then they have to convert that into a solar cell. They're spending about another 25 cents a watt. And then when they actually go to put it in the solar module, there's about another two cents per watt that goes just to breakage wow. because this won't break, they will. That total in China, their cost to produce is about a dollar seven per watt in China. And but but retail, this stuff is selling for between dollar thirty to in mid dollar forty range right now. Uh, we estimate uh, that we take a lot of those, those, those steps out of the way because our system basically put the stainless steel in and out the other end comes the finished uh, wow. CIGS solar cell including our royalties for licensing this technology uh, to, to, to our target customers, to our manufacturers, only 45 cents a watt. It's about a 200% reduction, Don. Wow. It's amazing. That is amazing, especially when you consider that most people are under the impression that everything is so much cheaper to manufacture in China and yet you're undercutting them, as you said, by 200%. And, and it's a highly automated system, and so the 20% the significant advantage they have in reduced labor costs there really start to go away, you start to level the playing field because there's less labor involved in a highly automated system to manufacture these. It's amazing. We've been following XNX, I guess, for about five years, and we've watched transitions, we've watched evolution. Uh, this is really uh, something you, you've got a lot of faith in going forward. Oh, we do, and, and, and we've actually designed, that we, we've been developing the system that's delivered. I have another slide, slide three, that shows what our our base 20 megawatt systems like. Essentially, you just put the silicon, you put the stainless steel in one end, at the other end comes a, syst uh, a, wow. a solar cell that looks like this. And we're working hard now to try to develop licenses. We've got, um, well, we've got, uh, I think, seven different companies under uh, agreement right now that we're working to deliver uh, additional samples to to go ahead and, and move our negotiations forward. Once again, X and X Incorporated, XSNX with their stock symbol. Uh, Tom, fascinating. Uh, as we get into the new year, I certainly want to hear more from you about this. Uh, congratulations. Thanks a lot, Don.